on the phone. Are you all right? Before we talk, let's order a drink. What would you like? Some sweet vermouth on the rocks is fine for me. And I would like a, a vodka martini, please. A, a double. A double. Straight up, madam? Please. A double vodka martini. Do you really feel the need to be so strongly fortified at this time of day? I just want one, that's all. You just want one, that's all. All right, my dear, come along. Tell me what's wrong. I hope you're not going to say that you and Skylar have had a quarrel so soon. No, no, no. We haven't been fighting. I'm relieved to hear it. Everything has been just great. Until now. Until now? What does that mean? Did you... Did you know that um, Sky had a, a portrait commissioned of me? No, I didn't. What a nice surprise. Yeah, it was. How nice. A raven. You did not ask me here to talk about a portrait, even if it is of yourself. Now, there's something else, something more important. Well, come along, dear. Let's get down to the point. I want to ask you a question, probably the most important question I have ever asked you. And that is? Do you know Skylar Whitney? I mean, do you really know him? <laughs> Raven, I told you before. I knew Skylar as a child, but I don't know the man. But could you give me any insights into his character? My dear girl, you never really know anyone until you live with him. Nor does he know you, for that matter. It takes time, Raven, to get to know people. It doesn't happen overnight. I know that. I'm not talking about just getting to know someone. Raven, in a marriage, there are a thousand little adjustments to be made, and you have to make your peace with every one of them. I am aware of that. I think I know what's happening. The fiancé you idealized is not the man in reality. My dear child, that experience is not uncommon. Look, it's different. The circumstances now are different. Oh, yes, I know, I know, I know. Before a marriage, everything is charm, sweetness and light. You get flowers and presents, candlelight and wine. And then, that all levels off. And you have to deal with the laundry lists of life. Geraldine, things are different. I have found out something about Sky. Well, well. You see, there is nowhere in the world you can go where I won't be able to find you. She remembered what the name of the restaurant was, and it was that simple. You'd make a very good detective, Skylar. Oh, no, I don't think so, Geraldine. I don't consider that a proper profession for a man. I don't like the idea of prying into other people's lives. Here we are. Sir, can I get you anything to drink? Yes. Uh, I'd like your best scotch on the rocks, please. Good. So, were you having a good gossip when I interrupted? Oh, yes, dear. It was lovely. As a matter of fact, Scott, we were just talking about... The new collection at the art museum, weren't we? Yes, yes, we were. Well, you haven't seen it yet, have you? I mean, it opened while we were in New York, didn't it? Oh, yeah, I know that, but I want to see it, and Geraldine is just telling me all about it. Yes, I was just telling Raven it's not to be missed. I understand you have a new painting in your home, Skyler. A new portrait of Raven. Yes, we do. And it was a complete surprise, wasn't it? It was. It, uh, it's a really nice piece of work. It's done by Paul Kramer. Do you know his work? Yes, I do. It's very fine. I'm anxious to see it. Well, I was sorry to have to come here and interrupt your girl talk. But I had to find you, Raven, and tell you that I'm leaving town tonight. Oh, you are? It's business. I'm sorry. Where are you going? Going to Chicago. I got a call from one of my executive vice presidents, and, uh, well, it seems there's a rather messy business going on out there, and he's put out the call for help. What do you mean, Scott, by messy? I mean messy. 
and serious. I've got to be discreet. Nothing has been proven yet, but it looks as if it may be a case of embezzlement. Oh, yeah, that is Thank serious. You. So I'm going to have to go out there for a few days and try and iron things out. That's a shame. Not going to make your new bride the happiest girl in town, is it? No. I'm sorry, honey. It's, it's just one of those damned emergencies. I can't be helped. I have the perfect solution. Take her with you. Uh, well, yes, I'd like to very much, but... Well, I know I'm going to be busy all day, and I'll probably be busy half the night, too. I'm sure that Raven would be terribly bored. <laughs> <laughs> Send her shopping, Skylar. Raven is never bored with that. Yes, well, unfortunately... No, it's uh, all right. I, I don't mind being alone, just so it's just for a couple of days. I'm sorry. I hope that you won't be too long. You know, Chrissy's taking the night off, and I'm taking Gunther with me. Well, it's all right. Maybe I could stop by and see you this evening, just to keep you company. Oh, no, dear, I am so sorry. I just remembered to work on a budget tonight, and it has to be ready for a meeting in the morning. It's, it's all right. I'll be fine. Yes, you'll be just fine, won't you? Time and the place. I'll be there in my best suit. <laughs> uh, I didn't know you had a suit. Yeah. What do you think? I'm some sort of slob or something? No, no, no. I, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. It's okay. So, what's up? Well, all I want you to do is something that comes naturally. Something that you do very well. I want you to snatch a lady's purse. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hey, but listen, she don't have to be no lady, you know, I'm no snob. Well, this person I have in mind is a lady. I can guarantee no problems with the police as long as you listen to exactly what I tell you to do. That sounds okay to me. Here's a picture of her. This is what she looks like. over at Sid's place, and I'd like to stop by for a minute and say hello. Well, hello. Look, uh, I can see that you're busy. I don't want to interrupt. I just thought maybe you could use a little bit of company. Oh, Kelly, that was thoughtful. But 
As you can see, I have an awful lot of work to do. Too much, really, to be sociable. I'm the one who needs the company, Val. Sorry. You do look a little down. What's the matter? Oh, I, um... I just had kind of a depressing lunch, that's all. Was it the food or the company? Uh, no, no, neither one. I, I think it was just me. Well, I wish I could cheer you up. I mean, is there anything I can do? No, no, no. Look, I just came over to say hello. You know, I didn't come over to dump all my problems into your lap. Besides, you have enough to deal with, you know, thinking about your father. Yes, but also, I've been remembering something that he told me many times when I was a little girl. What's that? He'd tell me that when I was feeling sad, never to sit still. So I've been taking his advice. I keep going, I keep being. It really helps. A little. <laughs> I, uh, I think that sounds like good advice for me, too. And really, I didn't mean interrupt. I'm sorry. Wait, Kelly, don't go. Come into the dark room and talk to me. I have a few things to do for Carlo. It should take me about a half an hour or so. Come on. You'll never believe this, but I've never been in a dark room before. Well, that's not so surprising. A lot of people haven't. But I think you'll find it interesting. Okay. Wow. This, this place is, is fascinating. And I want to thank you, Mr. McGrath, for not making any lousy jokes about developing things in dark rooms. I think I have heard probably every possible joke on that theme. <laughs> well, until now, Miss Bryson, the thought hadn't occurred to me. Well, so these are ready to come out. Ooh, the chemical smell. Yeah, you get used to it after a while. Oh, that's mm -hmm. Martine Duval. Yeah, she's doing some modeling for some of the top advertisers in Monticello. Carlo's gotten several commissions using her. Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing how these how these photos just, just appear. Yep. Here we go. We have... Uh... Yeah, well, um, it's like I always say, you know, one picture's worth at least a thousand words. It's rather good, don't you think? The, uh, composition, I mean. I should have known you would have more than one picture to show up. But of course, it's one of my better efforts. Now, darling, try to remove yourself from the subject matter for a moment. Just look at the light, the shade, the angle of the faces, the sheer joy of that kiss. I've captured that to perfection. If you think you can make me jealous of Gavin Wiley and that child, you are failing at everything you do. I am doing nothing of the kind, my dear. I am simply remarking on my genius as a photographer. You must be very proud of yourself. Sneaking around with your little camera, taking pictures of people in their intimate moments. What an ugly little sneak you are. My dear, I assure you that this is not the work of a peeping Tom. I was invited to the Wiley Dance Studio to photograph the dancers for a uh, publicity layout. And I happened to catch this delightful merging of two hearts, and I simply took advantage of the opportunity. A good photographer always seizes the moment, you know. Yes, so does a thief. Oh, Martine, really, sometimes you are thoroughly ill-mannered. You make it sound so common. And I am not a common thief, or was not a common thief. I am an artiste. Yes, an artist of taking that does not belong to you. My dear, just being hostile because I won't give you a divorce. You are mad because both your lovers are occupied at the moment. Well, Skylar Whitney's lost you forever now that he's married, and as for Mr. Wiley, obviously his pursuits lie in different directions. He's found someone far better suited to his temperament and personality. The young and lovely Jody Travis. If you think that your petty remarks are hurting me, but you're wrong. I'm not trying to hurt you, my dear. I'm trying to help you. I'm 
simply trying to make you see that you have only me now. So, uh, why don't you forget about this divorce business? Come on in and sit down. Thanks. I just took a chance that you might not be too busy right now. I'm not. You picked a good time. Good. What do I owe the pleasure of your company? Oh, I was just having lunch, and I didn't feel like going back to the dance studio yet. So I said, let me go see my favorite brother-in-law. I'm your only brother-in-law. I know, but you're still my favorite. In fact, you'd be my favorite even if I had ten. Young lady, that is just an unabashed compliment. Yeah, I know. I know. It was meant to be. So how's your day going? Oh, it's all right. It's not too frantic. I was down at police headquarters early. Oh, by the way, I talked to Damien Tyler, and he, he tells me that Martine is doing some modeling work out at the Crown Photo Studios. Did you know about that? Really? No, I didn't. I didn't, but I'm glad she is. It's been a hard time for Martine recently, and I know she's had a hard time financially. Besides, she should really make a wonderful model. Well, she certainly has the looks for it, doesn't she? She certainly does. You know, I should go see her. I mean, the photo studio's not that far from Gavin's. I suppose she'd be happier at her own profession, dancing. Mm. Listen, you're very fidgety today. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. It's just that I've had a rather difficult luncheon, and that's why I didn't go back to the studio. A difficult luncheon? What was difficult about it? Bent forks, crack <laughs> plates, what? No, I, I had lunch with Kelly. Ah, I see. And? Well, um... I should tell him what everybody else knows about Gavin and me. Uh-huh. And how did Kelly react? Turns out I really didn't have to tell him anything. He knew everything I wanted to say, and he spared me the pain of saying it. That it was all over? <sighs> yeah, it was all over. You know, it, it's strange, Miles. I'm very happy about what's happened between Gavin and me. And yet I, I feel really bad about Kelly. I have to get back to the station. I'm troubleshooting again today. Oh, I'm sorry. You've got to go, Charlie. So am I. Raven, call me. Perhaps we can get together tomorrow. Yes, really. We must talk, so I, I will call you tomorrow. Goodbye, my dears. Goodbye, Charlie. Well, what was that all about? What's so urgent that you have to speak to Geraldine about it tomorrow? Are you ladies keeping secrets? No. It's just that, you know, Geraldine, she wants to know everything about us. She's like my mother. You're upset about my leaving town, aren't you? Yes, I am. Well, I've got an idea. I've got an idea that will keep you happy and busy and occupied. Why don't you go shopping? <laughs> that usually makes you happy. Go buy something useless and expensive. Here, go have a spree.
But can I give you something? No, no. I'm glad I was here when it happened. That's what it was now. Oh, please, I, I mean, uh, can I do something for you? Well, it would give me great pleasure if I could have a drink with you. 